So just get yourselves a Hosvana and you can't go wrong. <laughs> No, just a few changes. We more or less ride a standard bike, standard engine and stuff. We have different suspension, but in general, it's not too different from a stock bike. So the biggest difference are the tyres in the hard Enduros. Run, they do softer tyres. A few manufacturers, we run golden tyres, so they've got two options, a real soft tyre. And then we run mooses as well, soft mooses. We can drill holes in them, or you can just use an older moose for the gnarly stuff, and then, you know, the harder moose for the fast racing. But it makes that's probably the biggest difference you're ever gonna make to the bike for the hard stuff. It just transforms it. I know some of you guys are using the trials tires, but we're not really allowed to use them in the races. But obviously a trials tire will grip a lot better. But in, if you're running tubes, just make sure you're running as low as you can without the risk of puncturing too much. Obviously, if it's, you can feel it hitting the rim, obviously you're going to puncture. And then the front it doesn't matter too much. A little bit harder. The golden tire to a bigger tire which absorbs the rocks a little bit better so that can probably make the biggest difference and I just take a little tip I take the locking nuts out the steering so I've got a bit more turning through the trees and stuff it makes a, quite a big difference and yeah that's about it really you know uh, with the two strokes you can adjust the power valves quite easy and three different springer wind it in and out it's good to easy to test depending on your ability so just as long as you feel comfortable. And then suspension, just try and find a setup that's comfortable to ride. So I always say the hard enduro is it's a mix of riding, but we're out for up to eight or nine hours. So we just get high, it's easy to ride. And you know, you're never gonna get it set up perfect for every situation. So I tend to run softer suspension, softer springs, but you know, it's not gonna be perfect on the real fast. And that's about it really. Hand of bar position, I always think line of the forks is somewhere near, you don't want it too extreme or too far back, but just for good stability. And then the levers you can see are just below horizontal, so just for when you're in different positions you need to be able to in a comfortable position. It's all common sense. And that's about it really. If you've got any questions about the setup or anything in general? Two, two questions. One, I noticed that you were running 140s in the rear. Oh, oh, are you typically running 140s? Or, or on, on the hard enduros, what size tire are you running? Yeah, yeah, 140s. All, pretty much all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then gearing, what are you, t at, on average, or like hard enduro, more technical? No, I mixes. just run standard gearing, but you know, if you're not confident with the clutch, maybe you could lower the gearing a little bit. It depends on the bike as well, what bike you're in. Stock car? TPR. Cone valve? Yeah, we run the cone valves and track shocks. Uh, yeah. Not a huge difference, but you know. Yeah, trying to win is just a little bit to make a difference. Ned. <laughs> when you're doing so, the hard enduro stuff, do you like your rebound on, the, on like the slower side or the faster side? Yeah, in general it's going to be softer and bouncier. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, just you know, you just try and get happy medium in all conditions really. It's what, what you're comfortable with. It feels good. You know, there's no science behind it. You go out and you, you know, do the clickers if it feels good, <coughs> happy riding it, whatever feels good, if it makes you feel good. It's not necessarily whether it's performed better than this amount of seconds on one, better than it's better. <coughs> you can go one place, it'll be quicker, you go another place, it'll be slower. It's just something to come forward to ride. Right? <laughs> so today, <coughs> I'm going to break the techniques down, you know, we're going to go right back to basics. And uh, you know, do three or four real basic techniques, and then the more advanced stuff as we progress is more or less a, a mix of the basic stuff. So, but the more we can break it down and focus on different techniques, the better it can be. But you know, main thing is you understand the technique, even if you're not perfecting it today. If you understand what to focus on and uh, remember the key points, anything new, just keep reminding yourself of certain key points and then hopefully it becomes more natural and uh, 
And you'll sleep by the end of the weekend, you'll be ready for it. Your knee braces? Yeah, CTIs I use, I've had a few knee injuries, so it's just it's worth in the investment, isn't it? Uh, you know, you're not used to them, you feel a bit yeah. strange at first, but you just soon forget about them. You get them a little bit more. Good to go. Graham, what would you say are like your top three for the most so well balanced in the Washington control? I know you're probably going to be Yeah, that's it. Well, when you, you know, when you, to be in control of the bike, it's all about the, the first lesson will be just getting the control, front brake, rear brake, clutch and throttle. So if you're working all them together and you've got all the controls, which I've done scores before and it's very rare that people are using all them controls, even we're going to do it on the flat. Once you've got all them controls, you know, that's what you're going to be using. In whatever situation you're in, so, and then it's and it's the case of positioning your body front and rear. So in general, raw it's weights over the back. So I'll probably keep I'll probably keep reiterating you know different uh, key points. And one of them will be leaning over the back of the bike. It's all about traction. Is about compressing that rear suspension, compressing the tire. If that's pushing in, you're going to be gripping. That's the way to find grip and being in rhythm with what the suspension is doing as well. So, yeah, so we <coughs> first lesson we go over onto the, some flat ground and we start with the basics and we go from there.